on yeah. IG. Metro Phoenix wants or says leadership is easy if you're a natural leader. If you're not, if you're not all the books in the world. Will not make people follow you. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's BS. So, I don't think there so? is such thing as a natural leader. Um, I think there's naturally more assertive people. Mm-hmm. Um, there's bossy people, right? Yeah. And a lot of times we identify them as a leader because of status or their position or title. Um, but I, I, I don't know anybody that was naturally born with what we now know to be the humility that's required for leadership and the rare blend of that humility and confidence that you can conquer the world. Yeah. I just, I don't know. We talk to a lot of people, a lot of successful real estate people. How many of those just said, man, I'm just a natural leader. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest thing. When you look at hot seats and what people present on what they need help with, it's always leadership. I think it's hard. Um, I think I'm a darn good leader Mm -hmm. right now. And I, I was definitely not a natural born leader. Um, you know, for I sure. think, I think I was a natural leader. Uh, but even though I was a natural leader, I was still horrendous at it, and I needed a lot. Like I think I had the foundation. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, through sports and everything else, right? Uh, and then just people naturally wanted to kind of follow along where I was going. Yeah. But that only got me so far. I think you have to develop it. That's the and thing. It I, could be inherent, like it's in you. But it needs to be. Oh, it like, needs to be uncovered. It's like, it's like, I mean, talent doesn't matter if you don't do the work. Yeah. Right. So, like, I think maybe I had ten to fifteen percent of it. Yeah. <laughs> but the books and the training and everything else, being surrounded by the right people, helps you become that leader. Well, that's kind of like if you go back to like the old sports adage, right? It's like um, preparation beats talent when talent fails to prepare. Yeah. Right. So I think leadership would be the same thing. Is is you mm-hmm. can have the the best naturally gifted athlete in the world. And when you typically look at the people that succeed and win world championships and go to the Hall of Fame and leave a lasting legacy um, on the sport when they're gone or the business when they're gone, it's because they've been able to develop as a great teammate or they've been able to develop as a leader that, that, that holds people accountable but also you know, champions and congratulates them when they do even the most you – know, one of the things I think we, we fail to do as leaders that I want to make sure I, I share because I, I remind myself of as often – is a lot of times as leaders, we only celebrate or congratulate the great. And if I were to go into any organization, a lot of times I'll ask this business, what if everybody here just did 90% or 75% of what they're expected to do? Like, oh my God, like things would be great. I was like, so when someone does 75% of what they're expected to do, uh, how big of a deal do you make of it? Well, we don't. They hit 75. But hold on for a second. You told me of everybody. So we, 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 we don't celebrate... Because often to hit 75% of goal, you had to give 100% effort. Mm -hmm. So I'm more going to congratulate the effort it took to get you to 75% than I am going to exaggerate the fact that you fell short of your goal. It's a slippery slope, right? Like you got to be careful that you're not encouraging mediocrity. But again, the one thing that I can say is when you bring the right people in, and you've been very disciplined about that, that it, that's off the table, mm-hmm. right? I'm incentivizing a person that I know is the right person that did all of the right things but came up a little bit short. Yeah. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Rewarding the effort. So I think leadership is the same. You you can have naturally embedded leadership instincts, but it is something that really needs to be developed and yeah. practiced and, and, and constantly pursued. I think uh, I go back to, you know, my... Example I always go to is uh, Darius Miles versus Kobe Bryant, right? Because they were both on the cover of Slam Magazine talking about, like, this is the future, yeah. you know? and Nobody even knows who Darius Miles yeah. is anymore. It's Darius Miles, like, dunked on Charles Oakley in yeah. a Michael Jordan camp. Yeah. And, well, <laughs> yeah, that was all talent. Yes. Um, so, and the other thing, too, I wanted to say earlier, you know, you were talking about how you hired all these people uh, through referral. Gary Harper, you know, he says, like, you know, the best indication of the health of a company is how many people are referring within the company. Yeah, he told me that the, that actually they started that staffing company as a lead generator for their leadership business. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, when people call us because they're struggling hiring, it means they have a leadership problem. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, it was a couple CG meetings ago, right? There was a keynote that said, you can't hire the right people until you become the right leader. Mm-hmm. So anytime someone says, man, I just can't find good people, Chances are it's because you're not a good leader or you're yeah. not the right person. So, which is in, goes full circle to what you said in the very beginning, right? Like as far as scaling, was that you learned that you weren't the right leader 
at that time. Yeah. Uh, 